at 133 now. And we've got Clark and McKee. Mitch McKee, a true freshman, up against a tough Corey Clark, the senior out of Pleasant Hill, Iowa, Southeast Polk High School. Mitch McKee out of uh, St. Michael Albertville High School. Hey, don't worry, folks. You're going to see that match again on Wrestling in 60, okay? <laughs> that was a, oh, wow. What a, what a turnaround. Call. What a turnaround. Great wrestling on both parts, but uh, when you're down 8-0 and you come back with that type of comeback, uh, it's one that uh, will be talked about for a long time. Well, and Lisek, you know, he, he knew what he was doing there. He, he took t the top position but gave Stay up that throat. reversal. You're fine. Stay off the throat. That reversal at the Stay end of the, the period. You're fine. And then you knew that, that, that Gilman was going to give it everything he had. A lot of go-behinds, and Lisek was pretty much done on his feet. And then that, that follow-through with that last takedown into the back was, you know, I, I, I felt, got a feeling that had a sense that Gilman was going to get it done anyway, just on the takedown and, and, and go-behinds situation. 2-1 exchanges, he probably could have worked himself back into that. But the big move, I'll be talking about that one for a while. Corey Clark in on Nothing. the uh, legs of McKee. Clark, a three-time All-American. Couple-time runner-up, and he has uh, been fighting injury, coming back from injuries. On your feet, gentlemen. Still 0-0. Zero, zero. McKee having a good year as a true freshman. 17-11. Ranked number 17. He was a three-time Minnesota State champion. Clark himself was a four-time Iowa State champion from Southeast Polk High School. Now a three-time All-American trying to get himself to the top of the podium. Been close the last couple of years getting that second place runner-up position. And he's been battling. You can see where he's got that shoulder heavily, you know, that shoulder uh, brace he has on his left shoulder there. And so, you know, he, Corey Clark has been, I think, the one of the more technical wrestlers that Iowa's had the last two years since he's been in the lineup and uh, you know when you got an injury like that you're going to have to make some adjustments and the times I've seen him I don't think he's I think he looks pretty good yeah. I mean he's right he's right there an exciting match with Cade Brock an Oklahoma State duel that was close but uh, lost 7-6 right. to Cade Brock down at the Oklahoma State duel there he's got a little trying to hear that the Iowa coaching staff asked him to pin him. They want him to keep the hold of that left. That, uh, got the wrist left, there yeah, as he leans of, uh, back in. He's going to go ahead and try to make the two the turn to get his points. Short time. Good job by McKee. McKee hangs on. No zero with Clark. That's pretty good achievement. Many times red. Clark has been in. It's yours, Red. Red defers. Back to you, Green. Clark will choose down to begin second period, try to get the first points on the board. Set green, don't move. Down easy, Red. Set. Inside stand up there, covered One, the fingers very neutral. well. Nice right job back to get on the right offense. back in on the offense, as you said, Jim, on that low single. Worked it off the two on one. Two. An escape. And a takedown, 3-0. Corey Clark out in front. Working the head, head and arm right there on the wrist. Now he's got, this is tight. If he can, how will you try to go ahead and work that over? He's going to go ahead and try to circle around the head and then come back to the half Nelson. Boy, that's good. this is going to be tough right here to, to, for McKee to get, stay out of. Signature wrestling by uh, Corey Clark here. Loves this Not position. Usually Keep very wrestling. successful. Not you know who's really good at this. Now he's going to circle around the head. Going to try to And then use takes the, a knee and... Yeah, got the Nice far, job by McKee. Yeah, yeah McKee's showing a lot back. of strength at this point. Back. A lot of guys Clark, that Clark wrestles will go over with that. Now he's going to reach back and take the wrist behind the flat. back. Keep it 90. You're fine. Now he's going to work the tilt. 
what the officials are looking for there. He doesn't want to see the wrist come off the back because you're rotating the shoulder in such a way that, that, that it's, that it's uh, you know, against the joint and, and the guy will move over fairly quickly. It's an easy technique to, to spot. Mm -hmm. I love the fact that the new rules allow these guys to really work hard in the top position. They're not really worried about the potentially dangerous call there. You saw that the hand has moved up uh, almost you know, you know, beyond uh, 45 degrees there with the, where Clark's hand is, but that's really what you need to do to make these techniques work. How much work, talk about it, work, how much work is it for McKee to stay uh, off his back here? You know, it, it's, if a guy was really thinking about what he liked to do on the feet, he would say, well, I want to work on the guy's right arm. I like to have an inside bicep tie or elbow tie, whatever it is on the guy's right arm. He would work that arm in the top position. You know, it, it, it's complementary what's trying to accomplish there. So McKee chose neutral, did not want to go underneath to begin the third period. He chose uh, neutral, shoots in on Clark, Clark fending it off and trying to turn it into his own takedown. He has thread that left arm through there, grabbing the far. Looks like he's got the far wrist. Now he's going to go ahead and try to drive in and keep his left ankle on the mat. And he's going to be able to go ahead and shoot, collect the two. two. Right Clark back, back the, to work yeah. on top. Right to back to work on that left arm. We'll see if he, you know, later in the match, if he can take him over with it. Yeah. He's got to keep his head up. The fifth year senior, a three-time All-American, Corey Clark, working to uh, chance to become one of the uh, rare four-time All-Americans. Working out of uh, his injury, and like you said, Jim, looks like he's uh, in pretty good shape there. Both from his wrist and his shoulder, been Wait, taped up. Set red now. When he first came Good. back, he didn't have the uh, harness on his shoulder. He had his wrist taped up, but uh, there's the inside leg lace with a headlock. He's got the le leg lace, like, like you mentioned. He, you know, what he's doing with his left leg is this bringing is it back over. <laughs> yeah. And you're getting a count now. You know, what made that work, though, is that. that once he had it locked up, some, a lot of guys will just kind of try to roll through with it. He was driving and driving and driving hard until he got the resistance that he wanted, then he took him back. Four points near fall. Turns this into a major and an escape. So nine to one on a major decision with that four point near fall for Clark. Whoa, take down McKee, which erases the uh, major decision. You talk about fighting for points, 14 points. Yeah, that's McKee has fought from the bottom position. He only got turned over really once, and so pretty physical. Work. 10 to three with riding time. Three more points on the board for the Hawkeyes, 27 to eight, Corey Clark is your winner at 133 pounds.